excellent. Well, welcome back to the Toyota display. I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the new stuff going on in Toyota. As you can see, we have a lot of vehicles. I'm not going to tell you about every single one of them. Uh, I can always answer questions after the fact if you need specific information. But I do want to tell you some of the more exciting things that are going on. First and foremost, the all new 2018 Camry is up here on the platform and we have the red one behind you if you wanted to sit inside, check out the interior. This is one of the most all-encompassing redesigns we've done on the Camry. It's going to have an all-new architecture, all-new engines, all-new interior, exterior. As you can see, it's a lot more sporty and aggressive looking than ever before. Um, the new architecture is something Toyota calls Toyota's new global architecture. It's starting to go across our entire lineup. And basically what that is is a new way to integrate the chassis, the engines, to where you're getting lower center of gravity, better materials so you have uh, chassis that basically have uh, better handling capabilities, less noise, vibration, and harshness coming through the cabin. So the car's going to handle better, it's going to have better performance overall, better fuel economy, better everything. We also have some really cool firsts on the cars. You can see it on the white one there. We have now a panoramic glass moon roof available for the first time on a Camry, as well as we have something new coming up called Entune 3.0. Now Entune is our infotainment system. It's been around since 2012. 3.0 is going to be some pretty major upgrades. We're going to have things like dynamic navigation, meaning that your navigational maps will actually update over the cloud as opposed to having to go in for an update every year, so more like your phone. Uh, along with that, we'll have things like remote start, remote lock, and unlock. You can do that all from your mobile phone. And there'll even be a Wi-Fi connection inside the vehicles available on N23.0. So that's coming out on the new Camrys, which we'll be showing out in uh, 2000, well, 2018 model will be coming out sometime in August this year, so pretty soon. Along with that, uh, another new car coming into the lineup, which should be available by the end of April, is the CHR. Now, that is a compact crossover vehicle. We have it on the further end of our display over there. And think of melding basically a sports car and a sport utility all into one. So you get the sporty feel and look of a sports car, but you get more of the utility of a crossover utility vehicle. Uh, this is a vehicle that was in our Scion brand, our Scion brand, unfortunately, went uh, away last year. So uh, several of those vehicles were brought into the Toyota lineup that's going to be called the Toyota CHR. That stands for uh, Coupe High Rider, just to give you that. So just a couple other things to point out. Um, you may have noticed there's an orange vehicle over on the other end of our display. Uh, this is one of the cooler concepts you're going to see at the show. It's called the FT4X. Now it's purely conceptual at this point. However, some of the ideas from it are pretty cool. It's aimed at the millennial crowd. And this is for like people with active lifestyles. This car is going to have four-wheel drive. It's also going to have a lot of removable and multi-purpose components. So one such thing is the center armrest. It's actually a removable armrest that doubles as a sleeping bag for your camping trips. And you'll notice if you see on the inside, it actually is directly from the north face. Uh, we also have interior lighting that can be removed and used for lighting in your tent or as a flashlight. The radio is removable, so you can take it out in your tailgate parties. And speaking of a tailgate, there's actually a uh, section underneath you have underfloor storage. It lifts up and then it slides out. You can use it as a tailgate or a cargo storage tray. It's a really cool vehicle. Uh, lastly, just thinking forward where Toyota is going in the future, we have a fuel cell vehicle. And um, if you're familiar with this, it's called the Toyota Mirai. It was re recently introduced in the last couple of years. But this is the first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. It runs completely on hydrogen gas. It combines with oxygen to produce electricity. So basically you have a zero emissions vehicle that you can fill up in five minutes. So benefits over a battery electric and it has 312 miles of range. So that's another great advantage. So this is where Toyota sees the future of the automobile going. If you get a chance to check it out, it's right over there. We've got a whole display that shows you how the chassis works and all that cool stuff. So that's all I got for you right now. I'm gonna hand it over to Damon right over here. He's gonna talk to you all about YouTube, social media video, and all kinds of cool stuff. So take it away, buddy.